Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, hanging out at the LTS Wakeboard Wake Surf Water Ski Training Center here in Pompano, Florida. A little bit of rain, but it was still killer. That's the benefit of coming down to Florida and wake surfing and wakeboarding is it's always warm, even a little bit of rain. And we even had a little bit of wind and chop, and I feel like this is where the O'Brien DOC Valhalla board just killed it. Like I didn't even notice the chop out there. Uh, one of the things you'll notice in this like current crop of wakeboards you'll see on the site at peterglenn.com is there's so much tech that has happened on the base and O'Brien is definitely going for it. They've got what there's called their, their Delta, Delta V cut system. Um, I'm butchering that, but the idea is basically on the tip and the tail, they've cut these Vs, these uh, sort of uh, uh, chevrons, if you will. And what that does is it breaks the surface tension, especially on takeoff and landing. And um, you know, you can feel it because every little thing helps and you can definitely feel when you hit the wake, like a little bit of extra pop. And that's also because they do what's called progressive rocker. Now, I'm gonna give you a little education here on wakeboard um, curves. So if you're a skier, you know what, you've heard of rocker. If you're a surfer, you know what rocker is. Um, but the, in wakeboarding, they've got some trick stuff going on. They, they do what's called three-stage rocker in a lot of boards, especially like the the hardcore pros that are going big, they it's almost like imagine the board being bent at this angle here and then almost flat in the middle and then and then going back up at the other end. So it's almost like a very abrupt three angle process. Now the older wakeboards like I grew up on and still ride are what's called continuous rocker. So it's just a smooth curve from the front to the back. And that's definitely a kind of a feeling that if you're, uh, you know, an older wakeboarder like me, that you're used to. It's a little bit more of a smoother cut, but it doesn't give you that little pop uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the wake. Um, so, but what O'Brien's done is kind of combine the best of both worlds, and they call it progressive rocker. So they have a little bit of three-stage rocker up here, but it's blended into the continuous rocker. And I, I kind of like that. So you'll see when I, if I review some of the more, uh, you know, aggressive boards, the three-stage rockers, they they can get a little bit, you know, for old school guys like me, it would be the equivalent of riding like, um, you know, a, a fish snowboard versus a, you know, a more traditional snowboard or, a, you know, a jibbing board versus a um, more, you know, slalom ski or something like that. So it's a lot of it's just preference, but I like how O'Brien's kind of hit that that medium, medium tone. Um, they've also got uh, uh, what they call a center spine and uh, you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of a ridge right in the middle of the board. And that's really nice because uh, you, when you out jump the, the landing, meaning like you sent it past your intended landing on the backside of the opposite wake and you land out in the flats, it's jarring, um, even when you go as small as I do. <laughs> but it, it, this, this breaks that tension when you land, so it kind of squirts the water out the side. It gives you a little bit of cushion, which is really nice. Um, and you'll notice, if you haven't bought a wakeboard in a while, that in combination with the new style boots is Gucci. If you're used to the old style where it's like, Kuh! the new boots that you can get are amazing and they really protect your ankles and your feet. Um, okay, uh, and then this, the DOC is a, uh, is a famous uh, wakeboarder. He's applied his graphics here. It says lads and lassies on the side. It's kind of a really cool design. Um, and he swears by this board, he backs it. This is a 143 length that I rode. It's good for up to 250 pounds. You can go a little bit shorter. I think it's a 137 or something like that. I tend to like the shorter boards. I just feel like it's easier to do tricks, uh, but there is a downside to that too. And you'll see me crash hard. Um, if you get a little bit out over the bow of the board, like it's less forgiving, you have less tip to kind of save yourself. So but bo both will suit you. Um, obviously a little shorter board's gonna be more versatile if you have kind of smaller kids or like I have a 12 year old, this board might be a little bit big for him, like, but he could probably graduate into a 137. All good stuff to think about, um, but in the end this, this board will do you right. All right, that's the uh, O'Brien Lads and Lassies DOC Valhalla in a 143. Get it at peterglenn.com or roll into one of the stores. Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn, later. Thank you.